Welcome to Anti-Aging Insights, where age is a state of mind and aging is a treatable condition. And now, here is your host, Dr. Terry Fisher. Hello there and welcome to this week's episode of the podcast. If you are wondering what the aesthetic experts are speaking about when they go to conferences, this episode is for you. This is all about the inside information at the recent International Master Course on Aging Science, the IMCAS Congress that just happened. Today, I'm going to give you a quick rundown on this recent conference. It happened in February of 2024, and I thought it would be interesting for us to take a look at some of the trends that are emerging from this Congress. I want to share with you some of the most relevant and interesting news that can impact your decisions in terms of where you're going, and also just for your understanding of what's happening in the aesthetics field as we go forward. So again, over the next couple of minutes, I'm going to bring you the highlights that happened at IMCAS 2024. And again, that's the International Course on Aging Science Congress. Now, this is a major, major Congress. This is an annual event, and it is renowned for the rich content and the significant contributions to the field. There were over 18,000 people at the Congress this year, including dermatologists, plastic surgeons, primary care aesthetic professionals, and this was, as it always is, a hotbed for innovation and the exchange of knowledge. So I want to talk a little bit about some of the trends that came out of the Congress this year. One of the standout trends that we're seeing this year is the remarkable push towards minimally invasive procedures. And clinicians and patients alike are showing an ever-increasing preference for treatments that offer less downtime and a quick return to daily life. And this trend is reflecting really an industry-wide shift that embraces the less is more theory, underlying precision and subtlety. In particular, a notable highlight from the Congress is the ongoing advancements in laser technology and its applications. As you may know, lasers are constantly being improved, they're being fine-tuned to treat a variety of skin issues more effectively than ever before. I know, for example, at our clinic, we now have a laser that actually treats acne called the AviClear laser, something that is a relatively new innovation. As these technologies advance, they're opening the door for customized treatments that cater specifically to individual patient needs. And that's setting a new standard for personalized care. Now, this is something that has always been important to me, but I love the fact that this is actually being highlighted as a trend. Combining treatments has also emerged as a pivotal theme. The synergy between different modalities, such as combining fillers with energy-based devices, is pushing the boundaries of what we can achieve when it comes to facial rejuvenation. I love this because it's an integrative approach, and it's not only yielding impressive results, but it's paving the way for more holistic treatment plans that are tailored to deliver comprehensive outcomes. And again, I'm really proud of our clinic at Anti-Aging, where we have been doing this for some time now, where we look at a complete facial analysis, and we do make suggestions that are multimodal, that are multidisciplinary, and that capitalize on the benefits of different types of treatments. Another big theme that came out of the Congress was an emphasis on evidence-based practices. And with a surge of research and clinical studies that are being presented, it's clear that the aesthetic community is striving for treatments that are backed by solid scientific evidence. I personally love this as well. In my medical uh, practice, I've always believed in evidence-based medicine, meaning treating patients with the best evidence that we have when it comes to research. And what's interesting is that this approach is now resonating very well with the modern consumer's desire for reliable and proven therapies. Of course, the topic of safety remains paramount. The discussions at IMCAS underscored the importance of maintaining the highest standards of patient care. And through a variety of educational sessions, they focused on complication management, they focused on the latest safety protocols, and practitioners were equipped with invaluable knowledge to ensure the well-being of patients. So as we reflect now back on IMCAS 2024, what stands out is a comprehensive blend of art and science in aesthetic medicine. The focus is sharpening not only on creating beauty, but also on ensuring that the journey is a safe and comfortable one, as safe and comfortable as possible for the patient. 
it's really an exciting time to be part of this evolving field. So with that summary, I hope that gives you an idea of things that we will be discussing more and more over 2024. It's always a pleasure to chat with you, and I look forward to bringing you some new interviews coming up. I have some other exciting projects in the works, which I'm not quite ready yet to reveal today, but we'll get to those shortly. And as always, if you are enjoying this podcast, sharing it or leaving a review on your favorite podcast player is, of course, always appreciated. Thank you very much for tuning in and lending me your ear, and I look forward to speaking with you again very soon. Uh, Till next time, be well. Talk to you again. Thanks for listening to today's episode of Anti-Aging Insights. Stay tuned to discover more of the latest news, treatments, technologies, and developments in non-surgical cosmetic and anti-aging medicine. For more inspiration, to access the show notes, or to book an appointment with Dr. Fisher, Dr. Frame, or any of the other anti-aging professionals, please visit our website at antiagingvancouver.com. Until next time, stay inspired and live life well.